It's a mixed use quad, uh, but it could also be like a regular quad. Oh, I'm already filming, right? Yeah. yeah. We were told two of them were occupied and two were vacant, but not which two were occupied and which two were vacant. So we were just blind. Yeah, and I knew that one was like kind of in the storefront, so. At that point, I would project out 850, 750, 750, 1075. So, right, you could be getting $3,425 a month in rent uh, for a building where you're only all in. What would that be? That'd be like two, $245. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. We got a pretty interesting, super unique uh, offering here in Canton, Ohio today. 116 Maryland Ave. All right. This is, uh, well, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. I guess it's a mixed use quad, uh, but it could also be like a regular quad. And I guess it is kind of like three separate buildings, but like they're all one building. They're all attached, right? If you uh, look at the the drone footage, right? Like on the left, okay? It appears like it's like a detached uh, duplex, but it's not. It, it's attached, right? So like on the left, you have a duplex. And then directly behind that, you have like a very long, like almost like a shipping container sized uh, unit as well that is uh, a vacant what was like a, a commercial space which i believe is no longer a, a feasible use of that that space i would say the better use of that space would be to turn that into an apartment and then uh on the front right of this which is like kind of attached by that like shipping container type shaped unit <laughs> is a large single family home right so I guess, I guess it's like one building, right? I guess it's like one building, but it's it's very oddly shaped, and it's it, it feels like three separate buildings, okay? Uh, but in totality, you have a total of four units, right? Now, currently, what's happening is the current seller is renting uh, one of the duplex units for $700 a month, and he's renting the house unit for $750. Now, the duplex unit he's renting... Uh, he's renting it pretty close uh, to market rent. It's a one one. He's getting seven. We should be able to increase that to seven fifty. Now the house, he's definitely missing out on some money there. Uh, it's like a long term legacy tenant in the house, and he's only renting that for seven fifty. But that's a big old three bedroom house, and outside of just being like attached by that weird little like bridge type thing in the middle there, uh, it, it feels every bit as a like a regular single family. So that that should generate much more than the seven fifty he's getting. That should be like ten seventy five. Now we need to do a little bit of rehab. Uh, first let's go to uh, like a, a decently normal looking unit, which would be the duplex unit that is vacant. It's been gutted out, right? So you need to like put back a kitchen and things like that. So we're looking at roughly 25K, then you'll be able to generate 750 out of that unit. Now, here's where it gets really interesting, really, really weird, I guess. Like there's a lot of options, I guess, depending on who you are right now, right? So this like space that I'm going to refer to as like the shipping container space because it's literally shaped like a shipping container or like a big ass bus or something, right? Technically, it's commercially zoned and you could, if you wanted to run some type of commercial uh, business out of this, right? Now, I guess that comes down to who you are, what kind of buyer you are, right? If you are like a local person who's looking to run some type of business, but also with your office, have your office generate rental income, I would say that's probably a good idea, right? Run it as an office and then have some rental income coming in next door. But if you're just like a pure out-of-state investor, operating it as um, like a commercial space, in my opinion, is not really the move, man. It's 2023. There's a ton of vacant commercial space out there. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, this isn't going to be like, a commercial space that makes people want this more than other commercial space, right? This is not like in the middle of like a retail district and there's a ton of areas and storefronts that are, you know, going to have a huge like foot traffic, driving traffic advantage over this one that are currently sitting empty. So I'd just be blowing smoke up your ass if I told you I thought you could rent that to like a business. I don't think you could. Uh, but what I do think you could do is turn it into another unit, right? It'd be... Uh, 
probably a two bedroom unit okay because they're like some rooms upstairs right uh so like the whole downstairs which is again shaped like a shipping container it'd be like a you'd have to turn this into like a loft type feel um like super open concept like loft vibe like think hipstery kind of thing okay on the downstairs and then you slam two bedrooms upstairs now to to get started on like taking this shell and turn it into actual living space you got to throw a kitchen in there the one room needs to be finished needs to have gas needs to have electric needs to have uh insulation etc cetera, etc cetera, to become a bedroom you're looking at starting that project at like 40k and it could absolutely go uh well above 40k right so um you got to drop at least 40 into that to get that from what it is today uh to be a two bedroom unit and then the other unit which is just a one bedroom unit that's already vacant you gotta drop about 25k that'll be like a normal easy reno so you gotta drop at minimum 65k into this um, but if you do so the amount of rent you'd actually be achieving would be massive compared to what it's currently getting right at that point i would project out 850 750 750 1075 so right you could be getting three thousand four hundred twenty five dollars a month in rent uh for a building where you're only all in what would that be that'd be like two to 245 right so it would far exceed the one percent rule right you could be all in at 245 getting almost 3500 bucks a month in rent and at that point you got yourself a full residential quad i would then go in and do a cash out refinance most likely hopefully the interest rates would be much lower and at that point you're getting the best of everything, man, because you got a four unit, okay? Four units, folks, are the best units uh, to do loans on because unlike commercial loans, four unit buildings, they're the biggest residential building you can get as far as unit size where you still qualify for that residential financing versus the commercial financing. Commercial financing is not awesome, dude. That's going to be like a 25, 30-year amortization with a five-year balloon. Guess what you do in the first seven years of a 25 to 30-year amortized loan? You pay basically all interest, right? You pay like a very small amount. Like if your uh, principal and interest payment on a, on a mortgage on like a 30 year am it's like a thousand bucks a month you're paying like 990 in interest and then like 10 in principal for the first like five seven years right so those commercial loans where you got to refi it every five years you're basically just you're never paying down your principal right uh so that's why a four unit residential is so much better for you because you could lock that sucker in on a 30 year uh, deal and hopefully at that point when you're ready to do so in a refi situation uh, the rates aren't like fucking seven percent right so you want to probably buy this thing cash hold it for a while wait till the rates drop then do your refi if all that makes sense to you and you're ready to make a cash offer on this particular property send those offers to my team sales at holdenwise.com if you are not ready you're like whoa 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 brother you got to buy me a drink first, dog. I totally respect that. Totally understand that. You should probably tour this some bitch because it's kind of a weird building and I feel like you really need to get up in there, especially the shipping container unit. Don't you worry, folks. Your boy Jay Wise is here to help. Send my team an email, sales at holdenwise.com if you want to tour the vacant units. You hit me up, hit us up before 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will get you in there same day. If you hit us up after 5, it'll probably be the next day, but we'll get you in there. Once you're in there, you look around, figure out your scope of work, figure out your plan of attack for the building, then send your cash offers to my team sales at holtonweiss.com don't come at me with a traditionally financed offer guys i do not see a scenario where the building in its current iteration is going to be approved for a loan with your lender i do not believe your lender will close this possibly hard money lenders possibly yes but we're really going to be leaning heavy towards cash offers on this one send those to sales at holtonweiss.com let's go Oh, I'm already filming, right? Yeah. Yeah. Up, up, up. I'm in. All right, we're in. Yeah. They're in here, so you might want to do this last. Oh, okay, that's, that's, that's perfect. <laughs> and it's real quick. It's just like a scan of the Yeah, even room. if you just poke the camera in. Watch. That's, oh. that's nasty. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Oh, that's all good. Oh, shoot, I'm on it. <laughs> You're okay. They won't use it. That's why I walk behind them. Yeah, he stays directly behind me. Try to stay out of it, you know? <laughs> All right. To the, yeah, perfect. Ah! There we go. Kitchen. The basement's that way. Yeah. 
Yeah. This one? That's a closet. Okay, in the basement. Okay. Um, you want to do the bedroom and the basement? Yeah, let me do the bed. Is there two beds or one? One bed. Just that one? Yeah. Oh, bathroom then. Let me do the rest or the bathroom. We'll look at the bathroom and then if, if you're cool with us just poking the camera in there. Yeah, I am at. Oh, I thought this went like. Oh, no, we have the side. Yeah, the layout's very confusing from the other storefront. We're looking at it like. <laughs> where is this? Is where is everything? <laughs> Yeah, it's confusing. I heard the people upstairs, I was like freaking yeah, out. Yeah, I figured. Like, I'm here by myself now. We were told two of them were occupied and two were vacant, but not which two were occupied and which two were vacant. So we were just blind. Yeah, yes. I knew that one was like kind of storefront, so I figured that one's got to be. If you're going in the bedroom, my cats aren't here. But Will they run out? Or are you worried about them? I mean, they won't bother me. They're okay as long as we don't open the door right away. Yeah, no, we'll do the bedroom and then the basement. Even if he just stands in the doorway and just does that. Yeah. Oh, my Fill clothes. Oh, get dude. my dirty clothes. <laughs> <laughs> this quick is just literally scan. Throw the light. That's yeah, just to show like the size and the way I'm Perfect. That's all I need. And then I gotta the basement. Put, them in, put them in there before Yeah, you can put them back in there before we leave. They're like, why do you keep locking us <laughs> they, up? The one saw your light and was like, what is that? <laughs> yeah, they like lights. Yeah, all right. Got to kind of watch some stuff. Oh, OK. Yeah, uh, this is a long <laughs> basement. basement. Yeah, and I one room to board it off, so. I think I tried oh, to open this door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, this one? Yeah, yeah. This is from outside. Yeah, yeah, that's the outside, and the one in there is boarded. That probably leads over to the... For safety. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, yeah, for sure. I don't want to be in the basement. I try to avoid it as much as I can, too, so. I totally understand. Furnace is over there. That's what I'm doing. Let's put that pretty long. Yeah, they are. Yeah. I saw the duct thing. I was like, oh, they're definitely over here. Water tank. Yeah, this is the jackpot down here. This is where all the mechanicals are. Mm -hmm. This is basically what we needed, really. Right, that's the only thing we were missing. Other than that furnace over there, that's all we really had. Yeah. I think it's safe to assume that. It's always way easier when tenants are like agreeable, you know. That one probably needs to be replaced. Where the fuck is the front of the front? Oh. <laughs> what is of course, it's where all the spider webs are. It's usually how it works. Oh. Yeah, I can't really get this one, but this one's a little newer than the other one. Creepy basement. Nice pizza Saw that. Perfect. Locked out. Okay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.